I'm the Associate VP for Technology Innovation at Texas State University, and my pronouns are he, him, or L for those of you that speak Spanish. Um, let's quickly get into it. So yes, like David said, the main issue that uh, I was trying to work with here is burnout, which is a common problem in a variety of jobs and developing a couple of alternatives, simple power apps that would help users uh, with this problem. So the whole solution that was proposed was to help people identify and highlight positive moments that we mostly experience in our lives so that we can learn the value and the benefits of dedicating time for reflection. So let's take a look at a couple of the solutions that we came up with. Uh, one of them was to <clears throat> let users think that actions can actually lead to positive developments in our lives. And the other one is how can refocusing after reflecting really change our mindset uh, about what our lives are about, what our lives are like, and what we can do with our with our uh, own powers. So we all know that uh, you know better together is the name of the game. So this actually relies primarily on SharePoint lists and power apps. There's a power automate that uh, can go with it. Instead of showing the apps, I'm actually going to show screenshots in some of the ways in which I wired the components because it's not that scary. I am one of those early developers that have been teaching myself thanks to the community. Uh, so I've always been a little bit on the slow side of things, but uh, you know, this is this is really easy. So here's a look at the first app. Basically, that app shows a wellness prompt at the beginning, and then it shows a series of cards that allow the user to see where they were on any given day with their energy points and what actions they took. The whole idea behind this app is to either look at your feelings and what well, to look at your energy or feelings on a scale from one to five. And if you're feeling your energy being between three and one, it means you're probably not in the best place. And so there is a prompt for you to take some action and underneath is a box to enter a reflection of this action you, you might take to feel better. On the other hand, if you feel energetic and feel like you're in a good point, it's a good time to reflect on the kinds of things that you did to take you to that space. And we provide some actions uh, on the list that lets you recap what you might have done to make to get you there. This other app actually looks at what happens before and after you reflect how you're feeling. Similarly here, we have a gallery that shows you for any given day where you were prior to reflection and where you were post reflection. And it gives you a little built in chart that highlights the movement for every day that you engage with the app. So it starts, we didn't want people to get the, to see the whole screen it starts just with you evaluating your energy and once you do your energy evaluation you get a daily prompt uh, for reflection and we make it relatively short no bigger than a tweet so 248 characters and once you start typing like my favorite reflection is a zombie ipsum lauren ipsum to go with and you reach a certain number of characters, you get prompted to reevaluate your energy and then submit your reflection. So what are these SharePoint lists that are part of the system? I created three SharePoint lists. The well, first one is the wellness tips, which is a read only list that I make available to all of our users. The second one is a reflections prompt that is also a read only list that is available to all users. And then thirdly, there is your personal reflection list that varies by project, but sometimes can include images right into the list. Uh, and so the fact that SharePoint has been made uh, capable of us reading and writing uh, images uh, through Power Apps has been an awesome uh, development. These are some of the functions that I throw and, and properties that I threw into the mix. Uh, the visible property 
also a variable property. So usually visibility is set to false until something happens. The len function, which counts the characters inside some boxes. The first function, which uh, pulls the first item off a table. The shuffle function that shuffles content of a table, if statements, items, and on change. So this is the way the random wellness tip gets delivered to the users. There's a list of uh, random wellness tips and the label at the top of the screen is basically the result of shuffling that uh, wellness list and then putting the first one off that shuffle deck at the top of that screen. Um, then how do we provide the random prompt for the reflection? We start out with everything else blank in the screen, and then we use, or I use the unchange property for the energy slider. And once that slider changes, then it will go and feed not only the daily prompt, but it will then make the reflection uh, window or the reflection input box appear. And then finally, after you type a certain number of characters, then we make the energy after visible and then also the submit icon visible. Similarly, uh, instead of letting the user create their own prompt, we provide the, the prompt essentially again with the first shuffle of the reflection prompts, and we uh, make that only a view item that gets saved along with the data when the user submits his or her or their reflections. For the drop down items, and the one that we uh, either prompt you to do a reflection or reflect on the things you have done, if your energy levels are below three, the, the drop down items come from one list, but if your energy level is above four, then your drop down items get changed to another list that helps you recap the actions you might have taken uh, that would lead you to that. And finally, um, you know, there is there is this chart component that's a simple chart component, one of the uh, components that comes with standard Power Apps, and we just point that to uh, the date and then to your uh, to your energy levels pre and post reflection in this particular case. Um, this is an optional component uh, that I have built to it that basically uses Power Automate to look at the list of entries in the morning. And if there hasn't been an entry that is any different, that is, uh, if you haven't made an entry in the last three days, then it will send you a gentle reminder, a friendly reminder, either uh, via mobile or via your email, uh, whatever the user chooses to do next. So this is a way you can get in touch with me. I'm happy and, and privileged to uh, to be able to share this with you. And, you know, I'm open to questions. Awesome. Thanks, Carlos. We will have the questions go into the chat just for purposes of keeping the demos moving along. Uh, but this is really fantastic. I love what you've done here with the technology. It's really a, a perfect example of doing good with tech. Uh, we do live in a world that's been topsy-turvy the last couple of years, and here you're using the technology to provide awesome opportunity to uh, have wellness spread about in our community, in our world. So thank you for bringing this to us today and demoing it. Um, we will have a dedicated space for folks to communicate with you after the call. We'll talk about that at the end, but thank you so, so much. Really great stuff. Great job on the presentation as well. Mm -hmm.